All right, continue on. We're doing a piecewise function. So from the previous slide, you see this is kind of how a piecewise function is set up. You see that we have three different equations, three different intervals. So let's read the problem and see what it's saying. Because this is important because you'll get a lot of questions on the SAT, uh, even some in calculus in college, where you're required to interpret a piecewise function and what to use. So it says the average max height of children in inches as a function of their parents' max height in inches can be modeled by the file following piecewise function. Okay, let's stop there. Because this is the, the one of the hardest parts about functions that students uh, miss. When you're not given an equation and you're being told in a story problem what is the function of what, you need to be able to understand that. So it says the average max height of children in inches as a function of their parents max height. So normally we say things like function of x, okay? Meaning the first thing, the average max height of children in inches is representative of the average is going to be the f of x. So the average height of children. And then the second part, as a function of their parents max height, that will always be your input value. So in this case, we're going to say x is average height of the parents. So that's important to know before you do anything else. You need to know which one your x value is and which one your y value or your function value is before you can actually answer the question. So it says find the average max height of the children whose parents have the given max heights. So it says use h of x where x is the max height of the parents. So it tells you right there, but it's not always going to tell you that. So here we have find h of 70. So what does that mean? Well, it means that 70 is our input value. It means that 70 is going to be the average height of the parents, and that's going to help us find the average height of the children. So what do we use over here? So we look at 70, and what we basically need to do in a piecewise function is figure out what interval does this fall on. Because whatever interval 70 falls on is the equation we need to use. So is 70 in between 63 and 66? No. So we can't use that equation. Is 70 in between 66 and 68? No, it's not. So the last one is x is greater than 68, which 70 is greater than 68. So we have to use this last function. So we simply take 70 and go to times 70 minus 66, and we'll get our value. So that ends up being 74 inches, or sorry, we're going to say average inches for the child. And that answers the question. If the average, if the average height for the parents is 70, then the average height for the children could be uh, 74. Okay? So that's one example. Let's look at the last example and then we'll be done. Same problem, but now we're going to use 66. So this one's an interesting one because if you look on our intervals, we have a 66 here and we have a 66 here. So which one do we use? Well, remember, only one of these two is actually included. That equal to sign, that tells us that the 66 is included. Up here, it's everything less than 66. We cannot use the first equation. We have to use the second equation, which means we're going to go 3 times our input value is 66 minus 132, and that gives us 66 average inches or average height, I think you guys get the idea, the average height in inches. So piecewise functions are important because you need to know what your intervals look like. You need to know what to, uh, you need to know where to plug something in for, and also you need to know how to graph them in a way, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in class as needed. So that's it for this, so I will see you in class.